What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So every single week I make one of these videos where I clean up my mailbox on my two transmog banks. So one of them is selling gray and white items, the other one is selling well pretty much everything else. And I wasn't planning on doing one of these videos this week because I was away on a work trip so I was gone for like four days. However, due to patch 10.1, uh, it was still worth showing you guys what I received. Because one day basically saved the entire week, even though I was away for so long. So we're going to dive into it. Before we do so, though, if you guys haven't taken a look at the 0 to 10 million gold guide, you can right now get it for 50% off using the code the Dragonflight. And this is basically a book that I started making over two and a half years ago. And everyone that bought it even two and a half years ago are still getting every single update that I've done to the book so far. So you just got to get it once and you will receive a lifetime of free updates for every patch and every expansion and it contains all of the methods and tactics that I'm personally using in order to achieve hundreds of millions of gold so if that sounds interesting you can take a look at it down below in the description and if you already have it and you enjoy it you're probably going to enjoy the VIP discord as well it has exclusive content you get to watch all my videos before anyone else because uh, I upload them to discord before they go live to YouTube and much more but read more about it down below and let's fire up the mailbox so it doesn't come as a shock as the reason why this wig is going to be good is the onyxia scale cloak and i could have made literally millions on this but i was stuck with a laptop on a shitty hotel wi-fi dealing with constant undercuts so it was really hard to keep up but as you can see like I farmed the uh like pretty like 99% of the scales I farmed them myself using the tactics from yesterday's video uh so a lot of this is just pure profit and you can see this is a relatively bad price uh but when we move further down you can see that I'm selling them for uh well 23,000 gold mainly up here so all of these sales really saved my ass uh, I mean, that was pretty much it, though. Like, this adds up to be a lot of gold, but I could have sold so much more if I was actually at home. Uh, on top of that, I also sold an armor-plated combat shotgun from Engineering. Yeah, I sold the Ebon Hand, Dark, Iron Reaver, and Blackguard, all crafted items. Really, really good. And Seraph Mortis keeps on delivering right here, selling stuff like the Atuma Loop, which is a 229 item level ring for 8.4k, so not bad at all. Uh, this is not that good, the Bone Slasher is from RFD, it has a market value of like 200,000 gold or something crazy like that. Uh, I had the three of those, uh, someone bought them out. With definitely the intention of probably moving them to another realm, if not, you're gonna do a simple reset of them. Uh, but they sold it, 60,000 gold. I'm uh, luckily in a position where I don't really need gold. I just think it's a lot of fun to gold farm. And uh, if it sells for way beneath market value, it is what it is. Uh, can't really do that much about it. Lunar Glow, uh, Lunar Glow Gun is a Rat of the Lich King gun, so not too bad of a sale at 9.2k on that one. Uh, I did sell Croaky's Gleaming Shoulders for 100,000 gold, which is always cool to, to see, because um, these are one of the items from a video I made like last week of the Corfia cosmetic items, where people are always like, student, they're not going to sell, hey. And they always do. Impossible Ancient Band is another ring from Seraph Mortis, selling for 9.5k. Then I sold the Runic Plate Crafted set, a couple of those items. A Tempered Titan Steel, once again crafted. Guardian Blade is an RFK drop, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's not, a, not exactly the best price. But cleaning out 188k and 618 on the last 100 auctions, uh, we're already up to uh, 800,000 gold in like just this bank tune uh so definitely saved by the onyxia scale cloaks but even without them and you take into consideration the uh the three days that i have been posting which you see you can see the gap right here 27 days 23 days because i didn't post for those four days and then the last ten thousand gold with nothing really worth mentioning leaving the uh, total amount of gold on this tune to eight hundred and seventeen thousand gold not bad at all uh, I usually make like 500 
or 400,000 to 700,000 gold. That's where I'm like usually at. So 817k on this tune is really damn good. It really is. Uh, and I've been having a lot of good weeks recently. So uh, uh, that's been nice to see. It's usually a good indication when you're selling a lot of transmog. It means that the game is active. Uh, and not dying like everyone is uh, stating that it is. I'm still making as much gold on the Transmog now as I was in, like, uh, let's say, Legion. Prices were better, of course, but uh, there's a lot of people that are looking into uh, collectibles and they want to use ATT to collect all the uh, mogs. Now, this tune... I know I knew that this one wouldn't be anything interesting just because the amount of time that I've posted. I sold Grizzly Gloves twice for 6,000 gold, farmed out of uh, Sludge Fen. Made a video on that recently in my top 5 solo farms. These are white item gloves. Uh, they do have a unique appearance, so they're really good. Alongside with a bunch of other uh, good items you can get from that farm. Besides from that, it's a couple of Shadowlands crafted items, a couple of vendor whites, and just random... Uh, Random grace dropping in the open world, and some of them bought from vendors, but 36k on that one, which means uh, that I made like 860,000 gold or something like that this week on Transmog. Uh, patch 10.1, already love it due to the Onyxia cloak. So uh, hopefully that's just gonna keep on going for a while. I'm not expecting as much gold for the cloaks in the future. Uh, but I will definitely get some sales and that will make it all worth it. With that being said, though, that's pretty much it for today's video. So if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more gold making related content, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can always check out the zero to 10 million gold guide. And I will guarantee you that's going to keep you busy for a while because it's like way above 150 pages long with a ton of cool shit to do. So yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye-bye.